Hello, welcome back to the shop. As you have seen in my other videos, I've been having trouble with my uh, Grizzly lathe. I got the correct gear in for my uh, counter on my threading dial and it's still, I can't thread. I checked and I have the right gears on everything. I have the right lead screw. Um, I'll show you on the lathe. There's just a little bit of play. I think I'm going to have to take the carriage all apart to tighten up where the half nuts clamp on. I can't see any other way of getting to it to tighten up the, the uh, half nuts. So I started, uh, I made my one piece that I have up here on my board uh, using the method that someone told Tom Lipton about and then he showed us how to do it. So here is basically the mandrel that has uh, 7 8 14 thread here. That's what I will thread in my uh, nut that I have to make onto this when I cut the flats to make it a nut on top. It'll be threaded inch and a half, 12 on the outside and 7 8 14 on the inside. This will fit right onto an inch and an eighth 5C collet and go into a piece that I've got in my box here to mill the flats. Let me show you what I'm talking about. This piece that I just showed you is this and then I will screw this onto there and put it onto my little hex 5C collet holder to put the hex head on the top of it. But right now I'm going to take you over to the lathe and we'll thread this inch and a half 12 on the outside. Then I'll have to drill it and uh, tap the inside. So let's go to the lathe. <clears throat> okay, here we are at the, the uh, lathe. I'll see if I can show you this. I just don't get it. Right there's the one on that little line in the middle, and I got it locked in. But now watch, I can move the carriage that much with the hand wheel here. So there is a little slop. I think I need to adjust the uh, half nuts. But if I unlock it and go to the three, see it won't lock in on that. It'll lock in there and there. The five locks in just a fuzz before the line. And the seven locks in right on the line. I don't get it. I just, I got the 16 tooth gear down there. There's still a little slop in it. Okay, first of all, I want to show you from this angle. This is my power switch. Down is forward, up is reverse. This is the lever that I throw in to engage the half nuts in here. This is my cross feed, and this is the, uh, that gun that I always forget. Anyway, I got, I made my scratch pass on there and checked it, it's 12 threads. Now I'm, I've got it locked in to feed forward. When it gets to the other end right here, I'm going to disengage it, turn the power off, back it out, reverse it, and as soon as the one gets back on the, the line, I'm using the number one, I'll re-engage this and back it out stop it and then feed it in with the cross or the uh, compound and uh, keep going from there so right now I'm going to engage it I've got my little oiler up here on top of the lathe I'm going to put some oil on it before the tool gets to it I'm 
not going to do a whole lot of talking while I'm doing this because I'm not real good at it. And I'll screw something up. See right there, I missed. But I just ran it forward to bring the number one past my line and I'll try to do it again. I jumped and got ahead of the line this time. So when I get to the end, there we go. Now I'll come back in. I always run this back to zero, advance my cut up here, about five thousandths. I'll turn it on. Okay, I got the threads cut. I've got this one top piece that I made. It screws on there. But this in here also, the tap it went in a little crooked. So that's going to be the main thing, is getting this piece tapped straight. So now the next step is to drill and to tap the inside of this future nut. As you can see, those threads on the outside, inch and a half, 12, came out pretty good. I've got it drilled to 13 sixteenths so I can tap uh, the inside 7 eighths 14 so let me get that done then I'm going to cut it off here probably about a half inch in here and then I'll put it back on the mandrel put the mandrel in here and do my best to shape the top side of that the way I want and get it trued up and then put it on my mill and mill the flats. Here's the next operation. Well, got that on there pretty tight. <clears throat> There's the uh, piece threaded on the inside and the outside. I want to thread this on here up tight against this. This is one and an eighth. That's a one and an eighth 5C collet in there. I know it'll fit. Arr. So now I will tighten that down on here. <clears throat> so that'll hold that as long as I can get it tight enough. Now, open up my vise. Okay, there I've got it all mounted in there. What I'm gonna do is mill a little flat here and then take the vise loose and turn it and by turning it the six times I'll have the hex on the end there. I have no idea how to calculate out how to how far down to go so I'm just going to cut a little bit, turn it and just keep going around and around and around until I get it. Uh, I'm just uh, pretending I know what I'm doing here in the machining world. Uh oh, phone. There it is. I made one trip all the way around. Now I've adjusted it down a little bit and it's time to make another pass. Seems to be cutting real nice.
and I take my dead blow hammer, make sure it's down tight. Press a wrench on there and get it off. Still needs a little deburring and chamfering around those edges. But let me go over there and do that and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, here's the adapter from the top of our RCBS reloading press. It's the 7 8 14 on the inside. I never checked what the outside was. It just wasn't working for me. And here's the one I just made. It's the same on the inside but it's inch and a half, 12 on the outside. Here's an old reloading die. Screws right in there and has a nice snug fit all the way around. So I got my, my uh, bore in the top all true. Oops, that's good on the die. Turn around here and screw it onto the top of my press. There's the press. There's my adapter. Screws right in there, but I don't know if you can see it. It's tight right here, and there's a gap on this side from where I got that tapped crooked. So the next step is going to be making another top. That's a lot of work. But at least I got this done. This in here was kind of a hold up because my lathe was screwy. Thanks for watching.